Hi friends, uh, my name is Ramesh and you are watching QA University YouTube channel videos and today we are going to discuss about test case review checklist document. So what is the test case review checklist document? Generally every QA or every test engineer will derive all the test cases from the requirement document. For example, if I give the same requirement to the multiple QAs or multiple test engineers, they will derive the test cases in their own way. For example, some QAs will derive 100 test cases for the requirement 1 and for the same requirement another QA will derive 150 test cases. So here the test case review will play the most important role because we have to cover all the test cases based on the client requirement. So many QAs will not understand how to review the test cases. So test case review we have a uh, set of guidelines, we have a checklist. So by following those checklists we can review the test cases effectively. So here I, I will uh, I listed all the checklist items to review the test case. So yeah. this is the test case review checklist document. So here I have listed all the checkpoints. Uh, the first one is project name. This column project name you have to provide what is your project name. Here I am giving uh, my project is facebook.com facebook.com is my project name and who is the project manager for this module so name of the project manager we have to give name of the project manager so the next important thing is prepared by so prepared by is the column to describe who is the QA actually prepared these test cases name of the QA prepared all these test cases for example I am giving uh, John John is prepared all the test cases on which date we have to mention that date and reviewed by who is reviewing these test cases those names should be listed here and that date for example I am giving uh, Michelle. Michelle is the QA uh, actually reviewing these test cases. Approved by is the manager name again and the date. So we have to concentrate here I have given the list of 8 uh, checkpoints. These checkpoints are very important to cover uh, the test case review. The first step is we have to check the spelling mistakes and grammar mistakes in the test case document. So each and every test engineer will write all the test cases in by using excel sheet. We have a shortcut in the excel sheet. Uh, by clicking on F7 we can check what are the spelling mistakes and grammar mistakes the QA will do generally. So we have to cover all the spelling mistakes and grammar mistakes from the QA document. So the next step is each and every test case should describe with the prerequisites and inputs and expected results very clearly. Each and every test case should contain prerequisites, inputs that means the test data, input means test data, expected result. So when you perform that test case, what is the expected behavior? Those things should be very clear in the test case document. The next one, the third point is ensure all the requirements are covered in test cases to minimize the missing test cases that means we have to cover all the test cases for the particular requirement from the requirement document so we have to ensure all the test cases are we derived or not the fourth point ensure all the requirements are covered with the with both positive and negative flows so while we 
testing the uh, application we have all positive flows and negative flows so each and every requirement we have a positive flows and negative flows so we should cover all these flows in our test case document the fifth point is ensure every test case has a steps if the test case is defined at a macro level that means each and every test case we should have uh, all the steps that means navigation steps how to perform this test case if i go through these steps the user can easily move to that location they can perform the required operation so that this is the step very important we should review all the test steps mentioned in the test case document clearly or not and next important point is ensure test case description and expected results are not matched as one that means both of the qs will do the same mistake like they will mention test case description as a expected results actually uh, test case description is different and test case expected value is different it should be managed separately so both two are very different so test case description should not be equal to the expected results there is a slight difference we should maintain that and ensure invalid test cases are covered or not generally in the requirement uh, based on the requirements we deriving all the test cases some point of the time or some later point of the time uh, test uh, test requirements may be changed that means newly added requirements are there or existing test cases or existing requirements should be deleted or existing requirements may be changed so based on those changes in the requirements document we should ensure that all de all deleted requirements and modified functionalities are covered in our test case document or not and the last thing is are we placing our test cases into our test case repository so we should we should place our test cases in our test repository to access every test engineer so these are the prerequisites or checklist to review the test cases so this should be very important before handling these test cases to the client we should ensure that all these points are covered or not in our uh, test case document so each and every point i have listed here again as yes and no option also i have given so based on your review this is happened then give the option is yes or no so also you can give the comments in the separate column so based on this review document the tester will update the test cases and send it back to review once again so this is about test case review document i hope all you uh, i hope this is uh, 